For joining us, I'm Matt Templeman. We will get to all of your top stories around Western and Southern Oregon in just a moment. But first, let's take a live look outside. Beautiful day today. We have a live look through Eugene and uh, Medford as well as Mount Shasta looking absolutely glorious in the Sea Lion Caves. Let's get to your storm tracker forecast. Yeah, uh, gorgeous conditions, Matt. But first things first, let's kind of take a look at what we had yesterday. Some pretty impressive winds across the region. Uh, just northwest of Falls City. Uh, that's uh, just toward the west, if you're familiar with uh, Dallas. And that uh, recorded a wind gust of around 83 miles per hour yesterday. And even Sanium Pass, it's an ODOT station, collected uh, about a 76 mile per hour wind gust. So certainly was a windy day and night last night, but things are starting to calm down. And it wasn't just the wind, it was also the impressive rain totals we've seen across the region. Take a look at some of these standings. You can kind of see as you make your way south, the better and better the numbers are. And this is water year standing. So this past atmospheric river actually uh, benefited much of these northern areas versus the southern ones. But things uh, have been generally wetter towards southern Oregon and northern California so far this season. And this is kind of reflective of that for the water year numbers. We also want to touch base on this. We have high avalanche danger up into the Oregon Cascades. Uh, that's anywhere from Mount Hood all the way down to Diamond Lake. So I know a lot of backcountry people uh, want to get out skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling. Uh, now is not the time to do so. We have very unstable slopes, especially after this rainfall event and additional snow in the past as well. More details on this and much more coming up later in the newscast. You're watching Oregon News Now on KZI.